very yeah, um, like um, isolated and like before I knew who my uh, allies were but now I'm really not that um, sure. Uh, I almost feel like I am um, being watched in a petri dish and they're like poking at me telling me what I have to do. Um, I'm definitely more conscious of like walking in the hallways now and um, yeah, we've had to work with this, yeah, we've had to work with the school, and they're like, oh, well, you can leave class early, so yeah. you don't yeah. have to be in the hallway. But, but even that, students, it's, it's not like, is singling you out, exactly. because you've got to get up. And our students, it, it isn't a matter of right. us leaving early, mm -hmm. it is a matter of us all walking together and getting along. Right. There was no That's issues with the student body, it's right, right. the fact that we can't use the restroom that we have. So, right, so the, the, let like me ask you, really any changes, uh, I mean, you've indicated that for the most part, you know, your peers are the, the, the boys and girls in the school, uh, and I saw lots of them, at, you know, in support of you, they had their shirts on, you know, at the board meetings. First thing that that really didn't change much then, right? I mean, those kids... Well, that, that yeah. definitely has changed. It has yeah, changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's never helpful mm -hmm. and never positive to provide a platform for hate and misinformation and ignorance and so when you have parents being provided a platform where they compare somebody's gender identity to putting a sombrero and being mexican just because you put on a sombrero so kind of like that's not only that's not only bigoted against that's not only transphobia and bigoted right, against right. transgender people it's also racist <laughs> and right, right and and when you're giving a platform for those views and that debate extends for six months i mean high school is where you go to learn and children learn from their parents. And we've only found that to be really the case in mostly parents. Mm -hmm. um, the majority of the school has been completely supportive. All of the students have been, the majority of the students have been completely supportive of us. Um, I mean... That's not to say there are incidents, and some of exactly. those are documented on the... Yes, mm -hmm. there have been incidents with a few students, but again, the overwhelming majority of those students are supportive of us and many of them show their supportiveness and tell us that they're being supportive that we're pioneers and we're yeah. paving the way we're this fight isn't necessarily for us as in it's more of a fight for everyone who comes after us because what we went through and what we're going through we do not want anyone else to go through that like why should they have to deal with that when they're dealing right. with so many other things right. that right. go along with trans? I'm just curious now when the president kind of came out, kind of in the midst of this, uh, prior to the decision, but certainly in the midst of this discussion of Brian Richard, where uh, he kind of came out with a, a very strong statement. Uh, did, did, did you feel kind of a boost? Because if the decision hadn't been made by the board, was, was that, I mean, they weren't, he wasn't talking directly to you, but he was talking kind of about you and in your right. support. What was your, what was your sense when that happened? We were happy, I would presume we were I think we oh yes we were definitely happy and we felt very we felt like backed even more so uh, we it, it was just reassuring very much so to us